Blessed be the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised. We thank you this morning, Lord Jesus. We give you glory, we give you glory, we give you glory, we give you glory, Lord Jesus. No one like you. No one like you, no one like you, Lord Jesus. No one can do the things you do, Lord Jesus. Glory, glory to your holy name, Lord Jesus. Glory to your holy name, Lord Jesus. Glory to your holy name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. 
the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. The blood, 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 of Jesus. I soak my spirit, so I'm going in the blood of Jesus. I soak my organs in the blood of Jesus. I soak my arteries in the blood of Jesus. I soak all my veins, all my flesh in the blood of Jesus. I soak my head in the blood of Jesus. I soak my toes in the blood of Jesus. My fingers in the blood of Jesus. Every demonic activity, every evil activity, the blood of Jesus against you. In the name of Jesus, I hold the ends of the heavens up. I shake up every wickedness. I shake up every evil. I shake up every evil against my life, against the church of Christ. Against the men and the women of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every affliction in the name of Jesus. The scatter that be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Ministry Sunday morning service open in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Angels of Lord, Holy Spirit of Lord, Father, Spirit, Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down in the name of Jesus. Speak to us, Lord. Take charge in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen and Amen. Right now, my brother, let's just go, just go straight now to the Word of God and the Bible reading. And yeah, this morning, you know. You're doing them. Hallelujah. And the book of uh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The book of Hallelujah. The book of Revelations. The Revelations. Chapter 15 and 16. Let us speak to your children this morning. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. We're going to play it as usual. Then I saw another sign in heaven, great and amazing. Seven angels with seven plagues, which are the last, for with them the wrath of God is finished. And I saw what appeared to be a sea of glass mingled with fire, and also those who had conquered the beast and its image and the number of its name, standing beside the sea of glass with harps of God in their hands. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and amazing are your deeds, O Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. After this I looked, and the sanctuary of the tent of witness in heaven was opened. And out of the sanctuary came the seven angels with the seven plagues, clothed in pure bright linen, with golden sashes around their chests. And one of the four living creatures gave to the seven angels, seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God who lives forever and ever. And the sanctuary was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power. 
and no one could enter the sanctuary until the seven plagues of the seven angels were finished. Chapter 16 Then I heard a loud voice from the temple telling the seven angels, Go and pour out on the earth the seven bowls of the wrath of God. So the first angel went and poured out his bowl on the earth, and harmful and painful sores came upon the people who bore the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. The second angel poured out his bowl into the sea, and it became like the blood of a corpse, and every living thing died that was in the sea. The third angel poured out his bowl into the rivers and the springs of water, and they became blood. And I heard the angel in charge of the waters say, Just are you, O Holy One, who is and who was. For you brought these judgments, for they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink. It is what they deserve. Mm. And I heard the altar saying, Yes, Lord God the Almighty, true and just are your judgments. The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and it was allowed to scorch people with fire. They were scorched by the fierce heat, and they cursed the name of God, who had power over these plagues. They did not repent and give him glory. The fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and its kingdom was plunged into darkness. People gnawed their tongues in anguish and cursed the God of heaven for their pain and sores. They did not repent of their deeds. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. And I saw, coming out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, three unclean spirits like frogs, for they are demonic spirits performing signs who go abroad to the kings of the whole world to assemble them for battle on the great day of God the Almighty. Behold, I am coming like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake, keeping his garments on, that he may not go about naked and be seen exposed. And they assembled them at the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. The seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and a loud voice came out of the temple from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were flashes of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, and a great earthquake such as there had never been since man was on the earth. So great was that earthquake. The great city was split into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and God remembered Babylon the great to make her drain the cup of the wine of the fury of his wrath. And every island fled away, and no mountains were to be found. Nothing we do in this life that's not going to be pulled back. Now, what the Bible is just saying us now is that, you know, that 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 that, 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 that incident that happened during the time of Babylon, and Babylon was the great Babylon, you know, the earth, Babylon will be remembered. Will be remembered. Babylon will be remembered. Not only Babylon, including our, our own day today, will be remembered. And therefore, let's mind what we do. Whatever we do, there's a compassion. There's the one who owns this war. There's the one who owns your life. There's the one who owns wherever you are. Whatever we do, you'll be just that today. Almost most of the almost almost everywhere in the world today have camera. That sees everything you do, monitors you. Now we have this credit card, now we we buy things through through card. Then everything is connected to computer. From computer they can get all information and everything. If human beings were able to develop such kind of um, you know technology, who where 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 is it coming from? It's coming from somewhere. There's nothing that is existing today that has never been existed before. That's, that's not, that is not existing somewhere. Let me be careful what we do. We will live to give account. And then you may say, oh, I will die and go and forget. No, God will bring you back. If you go through this scripture, we discover that the Bible said that 
that those who were, were aborted, those who were killed unjustly, some injustice that was done, and people think that it's forgotten, it will be brought back. The Lord said, when the trumpet shall sound, you know, all the dead shall rise. All the dead shall rise. For what? For judgment. Then be careful. And not allow deception and lies and manipulation and those who want to change the course of things. I think there is no God. The Bible is a scam and don't, yeah, they're just deceiving themselves. They can be saying what they think they, they but I'm telling you, there's no way human brain can carry what is in the Bible. There's no way human being can carry the incident that is in the Bible. It was revealed by the invisible being, the Holy Spirit, to man. May God help us in the name of Jesus. And I pray that that, 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 that spirit of ignorance that kills, that destroys, and Lord will deliver us all from the spirit of ignorance. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And great hailstones, about 100 pounds each, fell from heaven on people, and they cursed God for the plague of the hail, because the plague was so severe. May God help us. Okay, they cursed God because the hail was so severe. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you and I will not be among those who will curse God, but those who will appreciate what the Lord has done. The way, the, the way the Lord has delivered us in the name of Jesus. I am sorry for this. And yeah, we started a bit earlier. This is my alarm. We started a bit earlier than the, the normal thing. I forgot to put up the alarm so it not distract us this morning. And yeah. And I pray the Lord Almighty will deliver us all from ignorance and from the powers that are set to destroy our life and our destiny. And I pray that the purpose of God to create us in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, will come to pass. No matter all the wickedness that have gathered against our spirit and body to destroy us, in the name of Jesus, we'll be delivered. We'll be delivered. We are delivered already by the power and the blood of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we're going to sing this uh, hymn, Nothing but the power in the blood of Jesus. That's the essence of Jesus Christ coming to this world. You remember in the Old Testament, the Lord wanted to share the blood of, the, <clears throat> of Isaac. Then later, instead of a blood of Isaac, then the blood of the, the Lord replaced him. Jesus animals substituted him. In the olden days, before now, there had been, you know, blood sacrifice and blood and blood and blood and blood. People are able to tap into the spiritual realm and get information they need at, 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 at all times. Even till now, people are still doing it. Through what? The blood of pigeon, the blood of goat, the blood of animals and all this stuff. Some people haven't even increased that. Some places, when a king died, they will use seven heads of human being, human blood, to bury, in order to silence some evil that the king has done, in order to make sure that um, you know the, those those blood will kind of um, will kind of cover him. There's a blood that's greater than every other blood, the blood that was born from Virgin Mary, the blood that is pure. The blood that is holy, the blood that will tap any spot nor wrinkle. Hallelujah. Every other blood, blood of human beings, we are full of sin and iniquity. Animals are full of them. Um, there's issues with the with animals. And you can even compare the blood of animal to any human being. And you cannot compare the blood of any human being. All the human beings in this world today are put together to the blood of the Virgin Mary. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Holy One, the one who was mocked, the one who was beaten, the one who was despised, that did not utter any blasphemous word or cause or evil word against anyone. 
holy and pure in all his ways. Due to the virtue of his sacrifice on this planet Earth, he is the greatest sacrifice that ever lived. And that's the reason why his blood is super powerful than any other blood. But the name of the, 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 the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Look at the book of Revelation of the mysterious and the you know, help, things that happened there that was empowered by the blood of Jesus. In every existence, both physically and spiritually, where can you see such kind of a, you know, things happen? A kind of you know, mysterious thing being written about anyone because of his purity. Hallelujah. Surrender to him in the name of Jesus and you'll be made whole and you, you will discover something that no one, no one, no one has ever told you and you cannot hear from anyone. Than the, than the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to sing this wonderful song. If you sing, release your heart. Let the words sink into your spirit. And let them begin to cause total transformation that will change your life forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah.
Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord over your life, over everything that concerns us in the name of Jesus. And I pray His name will continue to be glorified in our lives in the name of Jesus. This morning we're going to go straight now to the Word of God. Hallelujah. We, you know, we're coming to the end, of, the end of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We're not coming to the end of the Holy Spirit. Now is now the reign. To begin to practice what to learn about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord will heal the Lord, we taught the law. In the name of Jesus, we add more grace and more virtue to us today. In the name of Jesus, the Lord, in the name of Jesus, before the end of this service today, the Lord will the Lord will set up some 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 and some program in our life. That will always, in the name of Jesus, not sending them out there, bring about the continuous awareness of the importance of the Holy Spirit in our lives, the importance of the fruit of the Spirit in our lives, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord Jesus, we dedicate our eyes, our tongue, our ears, our heart for that purpose, in the name of Jesus. Fear of the Holy Spirit, purify my eyes. Prefer my tongue, prefer my ear, prefer my heart in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Spirit, purify my eyes, prefer my tongue, prefer my ear, prefer my heart, including my nose. <laughs> Fire of the Holy Spirit, walk through my hands and my legs. Walk through in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Purify my hand, purify my legs, purify my tongue, purify my eyes, purify my ears, purify my head in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Holy Spirit is very, very important in everything we do. The Lord desperately needs you and me. To understand the place of Holy Spirit in our lives. It's like the water we drink. It's like the air that we breathe. That we cannot do without. We have those who have surrendered their life. Who have given their life to Jesus Christ. And I pray in the name of you. That our spiritual eyes and our ears and our hearts. Will be open this morning. To receive this wonderful man. Deeper, deeper, deeper. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, let's quickly go to the book of um, Galatians chapter 20. And we we'll start from, yeah, from 22 to 26. And the Galatians, the book of Galatians. Thank you, Lord Jesus, this morning. That is, speak to your children, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. And your name will continue to be glorified. Amen and amen. Book of Galatians. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Chapter 5 to verse 22 to the end. Hallelujah. The Bible says, <clears throat> But the fruit of the Holy Spirit, of the Spirit, is what? Joy, is love, joy, peace, patience. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. Do you wonder the reason why Jesus Christ was able to overcome all the trials that face him? Imagine yourself when you have not done wrong. And everyone that is around you is accusing you of what they know that you did not do. Of what they know that is just manipulation and lies. 
in order to have access for affliction, to set up affliction against your life, what you did not do. So they, let me accept it. They will release a demon that will torture you. After they have dealt with you by their own self. What you did not do, and they say you've done it. Because there's, they have access to invisible power and they're able to do all those stuff. But unfortunately, you don't, <laughs> you don't have anything to accuse them or to prove them wrong. Even if you have evidence. Because they're using, you know, in spirituality. The kind of thing Jesus Christ did. He used everything. He used everything against him. Everything against him. Hallelujah. What did he do? Did he find them? No. Hallelujah. Because the work of the people were what? Evil. The work of the people were evil. And they don't want the truth to prevail over their lies, over their manipulation, over their cruelty, over their quest for, con for control. They don't want that. And therefore, they will try everything to stop. Imagine someone who has been bound for over 40 years, crippled, begging money, and Jesus Christ stepped forward. Because no one can heal the person. Jesus Christ stepped step forward and ministered healing. And this man was filled with joy. That for over 40 years I was crippled. No one can do all these things. But now I can walk. I can see. I can do what all normal people do. And everyone around became so angry. They became so angry, furious against Jesus Christ because he healed a crippled man. May God help me in the name of Jesus. Is it not going to be a thing of worry, a thing of serious concern for that very fellow? Instead of people to join him to rejoice for the for the healing he just received from Jesus Christ. And they are they are questioning why did he heal him on a Sabbath day? May God have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. That's the world that you and I are into. And that is exactly that is what is happening in your life and in my life. That some of the issues or things that you are going through, people want you to stay in that affliction. They want you to stay in that problem. They don't want you to come out. They don't want you to come out. Let's example what is happening in our world. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Then any 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 progressive movement to come out. It's that discussion on strange things. Those who are saying or praying, saying that oh, I want him to be healed. They begin to act some funny. I say they don't want you to, you know. They are acting as that what is in their heart. They want you to remain there. And I pray in the name of Jesus, everyone who is going to do any form of affliction that the Lord have not designed, in the name of Jesus, enough is enough. We will command those afflictions to be broken. In the name of Jesus, let those bondages, let those spells, whatever it might be, be destroyed by the power and the blood of Jesus. In the word of God said that Jesus Christ has come to destroy every works of darkness. Every works of darkness in your life. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Name 
Here we can see here Jesus Christ, even with all this thing that Jesus Christ was doing, people were totally against him. In a normal human being scenario, if you don't have that Holy Spirit of God, you will act. There's no way you will not act. There's no way you will not come against those who are fighting against you. There's no way. It's not possible. That's the reason why we need the fruit of the Holy Spirit as a Christian. Even when you are doing good, people are criticizing you. In order to stop, in order for you, in order indirectly to stop you from doing that good, the Lord wants you to continue. And it cannot continue by your own self, by your own power. You need the fruit of the Holy Spirit. During that one incident that happened a few years ago, that this guy, his father was killed. He was withdrawn from school. Every good that he was receiving when his father was alive and working was withdrawn because his neighbor or somebody just killed the father. Then now the people who took the matter by their hand took, took the matter to court. They invited the guy to come and then testify against the guy. As he got to the to the to the to the court, he went straight to the guy who killed his father. I said, I know that this thing is not normal to, to be done. But I'm telling you this hour that I forgive you. I forgive you. Go free. Court, leave him. Let him go free. That Jesus Christ forgives. And I learn to forgive. No matter how much I've been hurt. Everybody, even the guy broke down in tears. The guy broke down in tears. There's no way you can find such kind of heart except in Jesus Christ. And that's the reason why there's so much attack against Christianity. Because it's a strange, how would you forgive such kind of a thing? How would you let such kind of a thing go? Do you know, like the scenario we first gave about the one that Jesus Christ healed. And everybody were asking, why did he heal him? Instead of joining the guy to rejoice for his freedom. Yeah, exactly what is happening in the world today. Bondages and wickedness everywhere is what? Being influenced by human being. Human being and signing demon against their fellow human being. They're invisible, invisibly dealing with you. Dealing with, dealing with, dealing with their fellow human beings. And ask them those things they are doing, releasing demons to go and do this and do that. Ask them if they can. Invite the same demon to do that in their own body or that wickedness to happen in their life. They don't want it. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Whatever you sow in the secret, in the open, you will reap it. The thief on the cross was justified, hallelujah, by the invisible power that around him, that knows him better. And the Lord Jesus Christ sealed it physically. That to tell you, whatever we do, you always come back to us. For that man to receive such kind of a, you know, great this thing. You know, the same thing has been happening. You know, he has been doing the same thing to almost everyone around him. He has been helping people and uh, being nice to his to people around him. This is what, why he was able to get that kind of great and great compassion and great forgiveness. Now, brother, the good that you are doing is not in vain. And for you to successfully do good without any kind of a regret or remorse in doing good, we need the fruit of the Holy Spirit. We need the holy fruit of the Holy Spirit. We need the holy fruit of the, the fruit of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus. May the Lord come down this morning in the name of Jesus and touch and heal and deliver in the name of Jesus. Amen. And that if we need the love, we need joy, we need we need patience, we need kindness, we need godliness 
<laughs> Hallelujah. We need goodness. We need faithfulness. We need gentleness. We need self-control to be able to, to live a life that is like heaven on earth. When other people are troubled, going to commit suicide and do all manner of evil against themselves because they cannot stand what they have done or what their father has done, you will be able to overcome. You will always be on top. When you allow the Holy Spirit of God Hallelujah. To dwell in you. When you allow yourself to walk in the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. The fullness of the Holy Spirit of God definitely will manifest himself in the fruit of the Holy Spirit. You, the Lord, have released here to you and me. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control and i pray in the name of jesus let the spirit of god in the name of you activate this this grace and uh, these fruits in our lives in the name of jesus from now we begin to manifest the fruit of the spirit wherever we are we see ourselves in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah for that down said and, and, and again against such things there is no law and those who belong to jesus christ have crucified their flesh. Have crucified their flesh with its passion and desire. What are the passion and the desires of flesh? Hallelujah. And just quickly go through them. Thank you, Jesus. It is what? Sexual immorality, impurity, sexuality, and the with sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fit of anger, rivalry, dissension, division, envy drunkenness, orgy, and uh, things like this. As I warned you, I warned you again. And I pray in the name of you will desist in the name of you from all these passions in the name of Jesus of the flesh. Then if we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envy one another, In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Now let's quickly go to the book of um, 1 Corinthians. Chapter 13. 4-8. He said, Love is patient. Kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant. Love is not rude. Love does not insist on its own way. That means love is not self-centered. Hallelujah. Love is not irritable or resentful. Love does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things. Hallelujah. Believe all things, hope all things, endure all things. Love never fails. As for prophecy, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. Then not be carrying. Let not be carried away by the prophecies, by the word of knowledge. Let not be carried away by people speaking in tongues. Let not be carried away by signs and wonders in the church. They are, they are very you know, necessary. They, they are not essential. What is essential is the fruit of the Spirit. Which also summarizes, also summarizes, also summarizes the, 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 the fruit of the Spirit. What? Love. Love. All these will cease. The love will never cease. Love will never cease. May God help us in the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus from now, we begin to train our hearts more and more to love. 
We need to train our heart more and more to love. If you are truly a Christian, and for that now, those what, what just came to my mind now, I have here. What came to my mind now was this. For that now, you, are, you, are, you say you are a Christian, and you are living with somebody, either with your mother or father or your husband or wife or anybody. The most time, when people are tired, when they come back from work or come back from outside, when they are tired, Sometimes they learn to forget. Remove their shoe, remove their clothes anywhere. Then they process, you know, uh, 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 you know, make make the house un unkept. Then probably you yourself you have been in the house all this while. They now see somebody, you know, coming and doing all that. In order to display, you can train yourself. I know it's a difficult thing to do. That you can, you know, with this kind of teaching, you, should, you know, we're supposed to a kind of start, you know, start, you know, start learning and you know, start allowing ourselves to start exploiting, exploiting this very, you know, the, the uh, this teaching by by by, by practical living so with something we begin to compare ourselves or begin to relate with the issues that happens in our life in our homes, the area that we have not been doing well. Or the area that will be allowing enemy to use it to bring quarrel in our homes, in our lives, bring resentment, begin, begin, you know, bring all manner of troubles. For example, now you may be doing something. People are watching plate there, and your husband say, "Please, quickly, come on, we need you, I need you." In the normal circumstances, say, "Wait until I finish," and you will be there until you finish what you are doing before you quickly go and see him or see her. This kind of teaching will make us to begin to love, to begin to exercise love. You can leave the dishes alone. You can leave whatever you are doing alone. Quickly wash your hand and go and see that person. Even though what is calling you may not be so important, you don't need to be angry about it. But I used to be angry about it before. But now, what we are teaching and what the Lord is telling us, how to tolerate one another and be patient with one another. And accept some things that you we no, we normally unable to accept. In the process, when we begin to do this, our spiritual antenna will begin to open. You begin to draw closer and closer to God. This will begin to open us up and make us to be more sensitive to the things of the Lord. Your brother come back from work and forget. You don't need to talk. Just go and keep it well. And sit down, don't talk about it. Something may trigger you to talk, don't talk about it. Then let him bring it up. He said, Don't worry, it's done. He or she will be shocked. What has happened to this person? That's what the true practical Christianity encourages. In the process, you are having peace in your home. In the process, you are opening door for blessings in your home. In the process, you are chasing out some of those demonic forces that have been, you know, tormenting your home and your life. Hallelujah. That is what these teachings is all about. And I pray for that grace and for that spirit over you from now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Let me to pray this morning and ask the Lord. Father, more love, O oh Lord, we pray. More power, we pray. In the name of Jesus. More love, O oh Lord.
Lord Jesus, more of you in our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus. We begin to manifest the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Patient kindness in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, Lord, let the spirit of love take over in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Lord this morning, Lord, for what you've done, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Spirit of God, fall afresh on us, o Lord. Fall afresh on your children. Fall afresh on us, o Lord Jesus, this morning. In the name of Jesus. Feed us, made us, mold us. In the name of Do great things in our lives. And after all, Lord Jesus, your name alone. You got name to be glorified. For the great things you have done. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. My brother and sister, thank you for joining us now. Those who have joined us this morning. Hallelujah. And I pray that you share this message all around to your brother, to your sister, to everyone around you. Hallelujah. And I believe that the Lord will use this to bless them. The Lord will use this to take them to the next level. Hallelujah. In, in the intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Love you all. God bless you all. See you later in the day. Amen.